flame has taken its toll on the bell tower at one of New Mexico's oldest churches, one of the oldest Catholic churches in the country. The church is in Socorro, dating back to the late 1500s. News 13's Krista Gutierrez has the story about the town's efforts to save the church tower at a time when money is tight. Every hour on the hour from dawn till dusk, the bells toll at San Miguel Parish. It kind of gives them the rhythm of life. But the life of the towers holding up the 100 plus year old bells is rotting away. The bell towers themselves are actually um, collapsing in on themselves. The strong plaster outside the towers is deceiving. On the inside, the wood frames that hold the bells are crumbling, slowly being eaten away by rainwater and melted snow. There are four tiers, basically, and as uh, um, as the years have progressed, the tears have fallen in on themselves. The problem is also eating away the church's budget. The cost for repairs, $56,000. It would totally deplete all of our resources that we have in our building funds. For now, parishioners seem to be the only hope. But with less than 1,000 who attend Mass on a regular basis, the cost for family may be too much. Being the third part of the third poorest county in the country means that we're pulling from a very small resource of funds to begin with. Father Andy says they've done it before. Even though we're a poor community, um, they're very generous and you know they've built this church time after time after time the the layers of adobes and plaster that are on here really have the handprints of the people of this community i have no doubt that we could do it it's just going to take a long time and um, do you have that time to wait that's the question the answer may mean these children will be the last generation to see the tower standing Eventually they'll fall down, the church could fall down, and um, 400 years of history in this community could be uh, seriously in jeopardy. But the problem may get worse before it gets better. Father Andy says until they tear into the towers, they won't know if it can be repaired or if they'll have to replace the entire structure. Back to you, Tim. Thank you, Crystal. San Miguel Parish dates back to 1598. The current bell towers have been in place since the early 1900s.